How's it going everyone? So today I'm going to talk about how to count calories for beginners. So before I get started, please subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. I do appreciate the support. It helps my channel grow. Also, if you're interested in online personal training for me, simply comment below in the comment section. I will get back to you guys with more details. So the first step we need to do when counting calories is first determine how many calories we actually need in the day. So that's how we count the calories for the beginner guy. We first need to determine how many calories we need. We need to find out what our, actually en our actual energy requirements are going to be. Energy requirements are based on numerous different factors such as body composition, your training frequency, and what your day job is or what you do during the day. Now this may seem super confusing and you're probably thinking, well, I got no idea. This is actually quite common and I was exactly the same way when I first started counting calories. What I did when I first started counting calories or before I started counting calories is I thought I could just exercise harder than most people and then it really wouldn't matter what I did uh, for calories. I, and that was my mindset for the longest time. I just keep thinking, you know, it doesn't matter what I do for calories. Um, as long as I'm working out hard, this is not the case. You have to track your calories, but don't worry. If I can do it, you guys can do it. So the main thing that you want to do is you want to go on Google and you want to type in calorie calculator. That's all you have to do. It's going to ask you a series of questions, type in all those questions, answer them. And then it's going to tell you the amount of calories that you need to maintain your weight. It's also going to say how many calories you need to eat if you want to lose one pound per week. So that's what I recommend. I recommend losing one pound per week. Now you guys may be thinking, wow, that sucks. One pound per week. That's going to take me forever. Here's the thing. You can lose one to two pounds per week. Um, it's based on your energy deficiency. So if you're in a 500 calorie deficit, if your maintenance is 3000 calories, you're eating 2,500 calories, you'll lose one pound per week. Here's the thing. By going slower, you're not going to plateau as quickly and what's going to happen is you're going to make it enjoyable. If you try cutting calories and you, right off the bat you go 1000 calorie deficit, it's going to be quite difficult to maintain that for a long period of time. For me personally, I like to go with a lower deficiency in my calories, you guys. So that's what you need to do. Lower deficiency, you're going to do be able to cut longer. I've probably done nine or 10 cutting cycles in my lifetime. I am getting very, very, very freaking good at knowing my body and how to cut exactly. So I'm becoming a master. A lot of people are like, wow, you are crazy good at cutting. That's why I got a lot of clients that are really happy with my progress or with the progress that they're getting. So again, the key is to go nice and slow. That is the key. It's a lifestyle change. If you're trying to lose 30 pounds in a month, chances are it's not going to go as good unless you're super, super overweight. So again, actually tracking the calories, go to calorie calculator. It's going to tell you how to get the amount of calories that you need for the day. Now to actually measure the calories, you're going to use my fitness pal. You're going to need a scale. So with the scale, you're going to put a bowl or whatever tool that you're using to measure it. Most people use a bowl or a plate, <clears throat> put the bowl on the scale, zero it out. Put the amount of food that you're eating and then once you're done just go to my fitness pal and type in whatever food that you just ate and generally it will be in my fitness pal if it's not in my fitness pal you can go on google and type in anything that you want let's say you just had a ribeye steak type in ribeye steak nutrition on google and it will tell you the exact calories it will tell you everything so there's not a single thing that you can eat that will not be on my fitness pal or google <coughs> here's the only thing if you go to some fancy restaurant or some uh, place that has some very complicated food, such as like uh, uh, international cuisine of some sort that you're not really quite familiar with, then that might be a little bit tricky. And plus, because you're eating out, you won't be able to have a scale to measure the exact food. But again, to count calories for beginners, go to calorie calculator. It'll tell you how many calories you need. You then buy a, a, a food scale at Walmart or any place, get a food scale, then download MyFitnessPal. If you don't have MyFitnessPal, you can go to FitDay on Google and that will also tell you everything that you need to know. That's how you count calories for beginners. End of video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please like the video and share it. Thanks again.